So you're thinking about moving to San Antonio, Texas. My wife and I moved here 11 years ago after leaving the Navy, and it has been one of the best decisions that we have ever made for our family. It really is a good place to live with a ton of stuff to offer, but it is not without its cons. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the pros and cons, the good and the bad of living in the Alamo City. What's up friends, my name is Jonathan Welch and on this channel I talk about everything that you would want to know about living in San Antonio in the entire metro area. I'm also a licensed realtor here in San Antonio with EXP, which means not only do I enjoy making videos for you guys, but I would love even more to help you with all of your real estate needs. So give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email or book a free consultation with me and I'll leave a link for that in the description below. All right, let's get into this the pros and cons of living in San Antonio. All right, first I'm gonna start off with a bunch of pros because obviously I think that the pros outweigh the cons and I don't want to discourage anybody from moving to San Antonio. So let's just lead with the good and then I'll get into the things that I think are nah, maybe not so good. The first thing I want to mention is uh, the strong and diverse economy. Now, the reason why I say this is because, you know, I separated from the military. San Antonio is a military city and this is a really, really uh, a big deal, I think, for people and a huge pro for people who are military moving to San Antonio. A lot of times spouses have to leave their uh, employer or their job from whatever city they're moving from and they move to a different city and it's hard for them to find work. Well, San Antonio has a very robust and diverse economy and there are tons of jobs in different industries here, which makes it a plus for people looking for work. We have financial services. The military is huge here. Uh, several big military bases. We have a, a, a growing tech industry. We have automobile manufacturing, oil and gas, the medical industry, higher education. We have a lot of universities here. So there's a lot of industries here that bring um, revenue to the city, which means that if you're moving here and you're looking for a job, you're probably not gonna have a hard time finding it. Another pro, which is a huge one for me and my family because we love the outdoors is the hiking and trail system here in san antonio there's over 82 square miles of trails um, improved trails in and around the san antonio area which are awesome for hiking biking running whatever you want to do the greenway trail system is the huge trail system that's through San Antonio. It goes in and around, not in, but around um, a lot of the, the waterways here in San Antonio, which makes it very scenic and a lot of fun to spend time on. Because of the proximity to a lot of Texas's uh, state parks and the trail system that goes through San Antonio, San Antonio really is an outdoor playscape. So if you're moving from out of state and you're used to the outdoors and you love to spend your time outside with your kids in the summer, then you are not gonna have a hard time finding things to do in San Antonio. All right, another huge pro, I think, is that San Antonio is centrally, centrally located here in Texas. And so you are very close to other major cities, Dallas, Houston, Austin. And so, you know, that's pretty awesome. I've lived in some places where the next major city is hours and hours away. It takes forever to get there. And being able to be so close to these other cities it is great, especially if you like to, if you like to go on road trips, if you like to see things like the big NASA space station um, in, in Houston is, is pretty close. If you want to drive up to Dallas and catch a Dallas Cowboys game, what have you, you're, you're centrally located and it's, you're real close to those things. And the last big pro that I want to talk about is the cost of living. According to bestplaces.com, San Antonio ranks below the national average in just about every single metric that matters to most people. Groceries, healthcare, housing, you name it. 
San Antonio ranks below the national average. And this is a big deal, especially for families who are single income. Um, a lot of, like I said, military live and move to San Antonio. They're single income families. And you really can get by without feeling the stress and the strain of just having one income. On one income, you can still get a, a lot of house with what you make here in San Antonio and live very comfortably. And I think that that's a really, really big deal, um, especially now um, as inflation rises. Of course, prices are going up. Even here in San Antonio, housing has gone up, but um, the cost of living still remains relatively low and very low compared to the other major cities in Texas. Big ups for that. All right, let's get into some cons. And, um, you know, there are a few. So, uh, you know, it is what it is, but the, you know, I, these are the cons. These are cons of living in San Antonio. And if you decide to move here, you're just gonna have to deal with these things. And so the number one con or the first con, I shouldn't say number one, but the first con is everything here is either trying to stick you, sting you or bite you. There are a lot of bugs in san antonio it really doesn't matter what area of town you live live on you're gonna have to deal with fire ants you're probably gonna have to deal with scorpions spiders maybe roaches wasps snakes even up to coyotes and wild pigs all in san antonio that you're gonna have to deal with pretty much no matter where you live owning a house here is pretty essential that you have you know, a routine when it comes to uh, protecting your home against critters. Either hiring somebody to come out to spray or doing it yourself, but you're gonna have to have a routine to keep those things away out of your yard, out of your house, out of your garage. That's just a way of life here in San Antonio, Texas. It sucks, but it is what it is. All right, another big con of living here in San Antonio is that we are very flash flood prone. According to floodsafety.com, San Antonio is one of the most flash flood prone regions in North America. We're actually part of what's called Flash Flood Alley, which stretches north of Dallas all the way down to the Medina Valley. And each year we get some pretty heavy rains and it floods the heck out of areas of town. When that happens, you have to know alternative routes to get to work. Uh, because highways will be shut down. We have downtown um, an upper and lower level that run through downtown and that lower level highway will just be completely flooded. It'll look like a river and it does not take long for that to happen. When it comes to real estate, you have to really know, you know where you're moving to uh, when you're looking for a home. In case you didn't know, if, you, if you're not from an area that floods, flood insurance is separate than your regular home insurance. So if you live in an area that's known to flood and it's been documented that that area floods, you're gonna have to get flood insurance in addition to your home insurance. So that's something to keep in mind and is definitely a con of living in San Antonio. And then another big con of living in San Antonio are allergies. If you're a person who suffers from allergies, then you are probably going to suffer here in San Antonio. We have these mountain cedar trees that each year for a few months throughout the year, their pollen just wrecks havoc to people who suffer from allergies. It is not fun. And then the last con that I wanna share with you, and it's the one that I probably hate the most, even more than snakes, and I freaking hate snakes, and that is feeder roads. If you're moving from a city or state that does not have feeder roads, God bless you. But in Texas, we have what's called access roads or feeder roads. They're roads that run parallel to the highway that you have to drive down and then you have to find an on-ramp to get onto the highway. The problem with these, these feeder roads is that when you exit the highway, you exit onto the feeder road then you have to make your way down to a stoplight or whatever, and then go whatever direction you're gonna go to your destination. What sucks is sometimes you exit the highway, you have to drive a mile down to the stoplight, but your destination is on the other side of the highway, two miles back the other way. So you've got to do this crazy 
reverse under the highway back down the feeder road the other direction and it just it it, it sucks and um i don't know who designed these highways here in texas but whoever designed feeder roads ah uh, so yes there are definitely some cons to living in san antonio but there really are a ton of pros and it doesn't matter what your lifestyle is uh, what your style of living is there's a place for everybody in san antonio whether it's the old historic homes in in downtown or the surrounding area or new master plan communities on the far west side it, it really doesn't matter there's something for you here and i would love to answer any questions that you have my number i will put down here below along with my email i'm the one that answers the phone and responds to emails i would love to help you guys out and remember you can book a free consultation with me the link is in the description below and i hope to catch you guys on the next one